Prigozhin's son is brought to head Wagner. Wagner Company may become subordinate to the Russian Guard or the Russian Ministry of Defense and again pose a serious threat to the Ukrainian military. There is a possibility that the son of the former head of Wagner, Yevgeny Prigozhin, will lead the mercenaries. U.S. Institute for the Study of War has stressed information about this. Wagner's status remains unclear as the mercenaries are scattered across several different countries. However, on September the 29th, Putin met with former Wagner commander and current employee of the Russian Defense Ministry, Andrei Troshev. The Russian leader said that he would first of all take part in the creation of new volunteer units that carry out combat missions in Ukraine. Some representatives of Wagner reacted negatively to this statement and asked to replace Prigozhin with his 25-year-old son, Pavel. However, other sources said that Pavel Prigozhin is not an independent player but is under the influence of Mikhail Batani, the head of Wagner Security Service, the report said. The ISW referenced sources close to the matter suggesting that Pavel Prigozhin's leadership may not be entirely independent as he is believed to be under the influence of Mikhail Vatani, the head of the Wagner Security Service. This suggests a potential division within the Wagner Group, with some members rallying around the Prigozhin-linked leadership as an alternative to the Kremlin and Defense Ministry-aligned leadership represented by Troshev. Furthermore, the ISW highlights reports that Rosgvardia head Viktor Zolotov is considering the possibility of allowing elements of the Wagner Group to join Rosgvardia as a distinct Wagner unit. However, it remains unclear how this branch of the Wagner Group may operate alongside Rosgvardia.